Hey guys, welcome back. Yoshimori Moto. Um, so, uh, the other night I was at work and uh, I, asked, uh, I got stopped by a lead hand. Uh, pretty much, they were uh, questioning their integrity. And uh, from going back from all the way back to training days. Um, if you have integrity, you have nothing to worry about. If you don't have integrity, nothing matters. Um, and some people will get it and some people won't. But what that means is that if you have integrity, any line of bullshit comes your way it's going to be your word, okay? And that is because you're straight, truth, honest, loyal, and um, truthful, and respectable, okay? And, and if you don't have it, obviously, someone comes after you, you're going to lose every single time, okay? Um, you want to have that respect, that trust, uh, that reputation, um, to be have that integrity of that character um, so anyways this person's integrity was on the line and I didn't know what all pertains but I just said kind of like you know you can't you can't be um, who you're not so if, if this is the type of person you are then I guess you don't change but if this is the person that you want to be, then I guess you're going to want to change. But, you know, it's your job and your responsibility for, for this shift. And you can take it how it is or you can leave it. And then they're like, well, why did you quit? And I was like, long story. But I didn't have people. I did not have the people. I was being harassed by uh, a manager and a supervisor. And never had my back one bit. Now they might have had my back. I just didn't see it. But when I was getting my ass handed to myself, and I didn't, even, I just walked in through the door to check my, do my lineup for call-ins, and it's just like, ah, da, 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 da. and I'm like. Look, you told me not to do whatever, and I moved them over there to do whatever. But I don't have people to run all three lines like first shift. Oh, we're going to be so hit. We're going to be so hit. <laughs> oh, my God. I mean, we're working six, six, seven days a week no matter what. Um, but it was just like, Jesus Christ. And it was like that every day. And I just kind of looked at my supervisor and like, are you going to like stop this or are you just going to keep it let happening? I was like, I just want to know now so then I can just remember tomorrow that like not to come in this office ever. And I'll be cool with it. So if this is how it's going to be, I'm not coming in the office. You can find me out on the floor. And I'll figure out what I need to do after these people leave. Oh, it was bad. So, and you know, I did the lineup for the whole shift, and you know, you know, four people calling in. It man, it does a lot for you. You're changing the people everywhere. Um, so, take that into account, in this consideration. But so, anyways, so then I asked my, I asked the supervisor after this lead came up to me. Now I gotta do a little investigation. Um, so my question was, all the leads, they doing okay? And she laughed. I was like, well, I just wanna tell you this, okay? Um, on a Saturday, it could have been a Friday, but on a Saturday, I wanna tell you something. I've never said this in a million years to anybody, but you proved me wrong. And it was to this guy named Frank Drake. 
Uh, you can find him on YouTube and, and whatnot. He does some pretty cool things uh, on Halloween and whatnot. Um, <laughs> that's hilarious. But anyways, uh, so I was like, you know, I told him he proved me wrong and he's a good lead. But the other, the other four, <laughs> uh, not as much. Um, and I was like, so what can they do to improve? <laughs> and it was just a list. Um, you know, if, if being told by a supervisor what to do, it's like the priority number one to get done as a lead. And then your job number two. <laughs> because, the, yeah, I mean, the, the ship's running. So, like, just get that shit done and then go on, uh, go around, make sure your people are doing what they're supposed to be doing. Um, if it took you an hour, it took you an hour. It's okay. Um, because you got other leads doing, walking around for you. So, um, yeah. So, then I was like, okay, well, this certain person came up to me and was bitching because their character's in check. And it's not looking good for them. And they're like, well, depends on who it is. And I was like, I can't really say who it is because then it'll come out. And I don't want to be like cutting in between other people, but I just want to know, do you have character or you have a character or integrity issue with uh, certain individuals? And she says one. So I'm like, okay. Then I'm like, now I know who it is. So I got to go to their direct supervisor, which is the other guy. And so I'm in the lunchroom, eating my lunch now, after all oh, this been passed. And I was like, do you have a problem with, because uh, they walked in and went and got a Snicker bar or something. I was like, do you have a problem with uh, a lead in particular? And he smiled at me and goes, well, we got, I got two that are terrible. And I was like, okay, well, have you uh, questioned in someone's character? And he just looked at me and he goes, so what they say? I was like, well, they got to take additional four more classes on Allison and, and blah, blah, blah. And that, you know, they're, they just are whatever. And then he looked at me and goes, well, they're supposed to take like 24 classes. And I just gave her another four. And, um, and then another thing, too, is like on that Friday, okay, um, we're supposed to treat everyone fair. All right, so we got our PPE books that we got to fill out and make sure that the whole shift is wearing proper PPE. All right, so she gave someone shit, and I mean shit, for not wearing earplugs. And then the next person, they're wearing them down over here, and she was like their best friend. And I was like, no need to say anything more. I totally understand. That character has been proven right there. You cannot treat people different in your position. I said, you know that. I know that. Everyone else knows that. Okay? You're a man of power. You're, you're in between production and the supervisor you're the middle man you have to keep a level playing field and keep their best interests at heart that's it that is it you are supposed to protect your employees okay and i'm gonna tell you something if you give someone else shit for not wearing their ppe you give the next person shit for not wearing their ppe there's a reason why we wear ppe so we don't lose our hearing, we don't lose our sight, and we don't lose our fingers, okay? Or or get serrated cuts or anything like that, or lacerations, okay? Um, that is why what we do, what why we do it, and what we do it for. And it's just like, wow, really? Keep the level playing field. If you're not fair, then 
don't be in that position because you have to be, be fair on both sides. Okay? You got to give the person benefit of doubt. Okay? Whether well, they're not they're doing their job right. If you don't if you're not seeing it. And then you have to investigate. I was like, boo. Well, there's nothing I can do for you now. I cannot protect you. You are terrible as a lead. Terrible. But there's ways to get you better. And and number one, you have to change the whole aspect of you. And I hate to say it like that because you're not a fair person. And now you need to know how to be fair. And that's, that's the hardest thing. What is fair in life? And it, there's nothing that's fair, okay? There's nothing that's fair. But you have to be level, okay? And just like, you know, yesterday, all right? I'm, I'm tool and die, okay? And I have an engineer that's a manager, okay? And we were getting hard marks on this new die, okay? Lead check wasn't done by the previous person, but I came in, lead checked it. It was numbers were off on the south side, so I ended up moving some things down and able to get the part level. But yet, I was being questioned if that was going to keep the same part just by moving some one 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 detail and moving them moving the up and down main road to be parallel to the plane and I got questioned by that and be like really is that going to really work well if it don't work then it is what it is but we have to troubleshoot right and I'm going to tell you this right now it's like I'm not changing nothing the only thing I'm changing is that how, how far that comes down and once you know that mark went almost all the way and it brought the part almost nominal which is like wow just from that one thing I did but you know lead don't lie so but so anyways my character was being checked real hard on my ability of doing my job and 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 my ability to troubleshoot effectively and and root cause some other concerns and whatnot but like when your part's sitting like this and not like this it's gonna play a big part the holes might not even be in the right air spot you know we could break locator pins we could do a lot of other damage now i could have brought the other side up and then it had been like bad but i just took what i knew from the Two cab or the two dies, and and when I light checked them, I light checked everything. I just wanted to make sure that we were sitting gold on this new set of details, and we were not. We were hitting hard, and so I was like, well, when this comes out, we'll take seven thousand from top, seven thousand from bottom, and call it done. Got a. Good job and that a boy. You know, it was being really, really questioned. So that brings us to the day of is our characters being questioned. Whether or not you have the ability to do your job. And it all started off as a lead coming up to me because I was a lead. Um And, and the reasons why I did what I had to do. I'm, I'm very good at what I do. And when I get attacked and bullied and, and everything at work, I just, I find something else different because I'm not gonna be bullied and I'm not gonna get attacked and I shouldn't be on my defense all the time in this place, you know? And yeah, maybe, and I, I think maybe I wasn't a good lead or maybe I wasn't or whatnot. 
Well, my reputation as a good lead, everyone knows me in that plant. That, wow, he was fair, he was understanding, and he really made my career here. Because you know what? I've never said they couldn't do anything. They didn't amount to anything. You know what I mean? They could be anything they want to be there. You're just going to have to put in a little bit of work. Okay? You learn the process. You learn the business. And you're going to go far. Look at me. I went from a temp, production associate, to uh, lead hand, right into skill trades. Now, I'm not going to say it was a struggle through it all. But it was. It it was a challenging and experience, and it was just it was uh, it was crazy because you know that revolving door between supervisors and production associates are just what it is. <coughs> I mean, no one no one can ever say you know you have to stay here and work. No one can. Because you have to do what you got to do. Okay? I'm not a slave driver. will never be a slave driver. But, you know, I have a job to do. And that's it. And, you know, I treat it like a business. Like my own business. And some people don't have that mentality. It's, it's to make money. You're not there to make friends. Okay? You're not. I don't care if anyone liked me. I just did the job. To provide money for everybody. And while doing it, getting paid. Really how you have to treat it sometimes. But like, I mean, there was like, there there has been people that would stab you in the back and, and set you up for failure and whatnot. And you have to overcome all that. You have to overcome all that. And I think I did, oh. A well enough job to say I, I successfully completed tasks and in unachievable goals and yeah I've been burnt a couple times by a few individuals but I'd never let that bother me with them but I'll tell you this I'll never hire them in my own business <laughs> ever and that's just being fair now, there's some people I'd hire, but I would never let them know that. And the reason why is because they have a perfectly good and stable job. So, but that's my uh, my session for today. Um, and you know how to be fair and and how to justify <laughs> what a lead's supposed to do, I guess. I don't know. I just, it blows my mind. And it, it, it's just been way different. Uh, times are way different. Gen Zers, uh, can't work with them. They can't relate. And I'm a millennial. <laughs> oh, I get along with everybody. These nine, 18 or 19 year olds, man. They've been baby. Snowflakes. I mean snowflakes. cry about one thing. Oh my gosh. I mean, they just they didn't go their way. You gotta talk to them like a child. Oh, that's sad. Sad, sad, sad. There's, there's other people that are like, they just like own it. But you know what? They probably weren't coddled. They probably weren't coddled. And I just laugh. Am I See, my wife, we have a child that's two. And she babies him. I just don't do it. So, 
All right, well, that is me. I'm waiting to get into work, so. Adios.